Okay, so now we come to the topic of saturation. Now, before going into saturation, we need to learn about these three things. Alkanes, alkenes, and alkynes. Now, what are these three things? Now, we have already seen the compound CH4, which is methane, whose structure is like this. We have also seen ethane, which is C2H6 whose structure is this. Now, you see, there are only single bonds in both the compounds. And in methane, there is only one carbon atom. And in ethane, there are two carbon atoms. So, we can say that ethane is like one carbon atom uh, added to methane somewhat like that so but still there is there are only single bonds there are no double or triple bonds in this compound so such compounds which have or we can say carbon compounds containing or you should say carbon hydrogen compounds and remember it should be only carbon and hydrogen no other element should be involved in the structure so carbon hydrogen compounds containing only single bonds are called alkanes. Now, we also saw, if you remember, the structure of this molecule, which is like this. This is C2H4. Because over here the carbon-carbon are bonded by a double bond. And since there are two bonds over here, there are only two hydrogens over here to satisfy the four valency of the carbon atom. And this compound is known as Team. Now, this is a two carbon compound. Similarly, there can also exist this three carbon compound. So, if you balance the hydrogens over here, it gives us two over here, one over here and 3 over here. So, this is C3H6. Here, this carbon and this carbon is bonded by a double bond and this carbon and this carbon is bonded by a single bond. And this particular compound is known as propene. Okay, so we can define another class of carbon hydrogen compounds called alkenes. And what are alkenes? They are carbon hydrogen compounds. 
containing double as well as single bonds. So these alkenes they may contain or they do contain double bonds as well as single bonds but they do not contain, contain triple bonds. And what are alkenes? Alkenes were the compounds which contain only single bonds. We also drew the structure of C2H2 which if you recall was ethyne and the structure was a triple bonded carbon two triple bonded carbon atoms and two hydrogen atoms so this has a triple bond between the carbon two carbons and this compound C3H4 looks this has four valency satisfied so it should be like this this is propyne so this is again ethyne plus one carbon in a way so actually you know these alkanes, alkenes and this, these compounds which have triple bond are called alkynes. These alkanes, alkenes and alkynes, they are a series of carbon compounds where the carbon chain, this chain goes on extending by one carbon. So this is ethyne, this is propyne, then there will be more 4 carbon, 5 carbon, 6 carbon chains with triple bonds and all will be called alkynes. If there were double bonds, there would be 3, 4, 5 carbon compounds with double bonds and all are called alkenes. So these are a series of compounds or you can say this is a total carbon compound series. So alkynes will be carbon hydrogen compounds containing triple bonds and they might contain single bonds I mean they have to contain single bonds so this is what are alkanes, alkenes and alkynes? Now, as I said that the carbon chain goes on extending and as the carbon chain goes on extending with each compound, each compound has to be given a different name. 